everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists at Ames Laboratory have developed a new metamaterial that generates electromagnetic radiation in the terahertz range. Terahertz radiation lies between the infrared band and the microwave band on the electromagnetic spectrum. It's one of the least exploited regions of the EM spectrum and one with the potential to revolutionize multiple scientific fields including communications and medical imaging. Until now, researchers have focused on generating terahertz waves by stretching or compressing radiation from outside the range. Now, a team led by physicists at Ames Laboratory has developed a metamaterial that emits terahertz waves when exposed to pulses from an ultra-fast laser. In theory, this technique should be able to produce emissions from across the terahertz band, which could lead to the development of revolutionary new technologies that take advantage of this previously unexplored band of the electromagnetic spectrum. Speaking of metamaterials, scientists at Berkeley Lab have discovered a natural substance that behaves similarly to graphene. The Berkeley team found that sodium bismuthate can be used as what's called a three-dimensional topological Dirac semi-metal, abbreviated 3DTDS, a material that conducts electrons at least as well as graphene, and perhaps a little bit better. Sodium bismuthate as a 3D TDS is only useful for demonstration purposes at the moment as it's too unstable for practical applications. But the Berkeley researchers and others are already exploring other possible materials. Stable 3D TDS based technology could result in smaller, faster hard drives, among numerous other possible applications. Finally, a pair of scientists at University of Texas Arlington have invented a device capable of charging a cell phone battery using power generated by tiny windmills. Smitha Rao, a research associate at UT Arlington, and J.C. Chow, an electrical engineering professor, designed and built the device, which is embedded with hundreds of tiny windmills constructed of durable nickel alloy, which are able to generate electricity from the wind generated by waving the device around. The micro windmills can be inexpensively mass produced and Professor Chow believes they could be used not only to charge cell phone batteries, but installed in much larger numbers on the walls of buildings to harvest energy that could then be used for lighting, communications, or pretty much anything else you might need electricity for. How cool is this? A new metamaterial produces highly sought-after terahertz waves, a natural equivalent of graphene, another amazing metamaterial, is found, and two scientists invent a way to generate electricity using tiny windmills. That's the good news. Instead of tiny windmills, how about tiny wheels with tiny kitties running inside of them? What do you think of that?